Hey everyone, welcome back. I thought I would try out vlogging. Um, so what I'm gonna do is do some, um, do a new recipe that I kind of modified, uh, which is, it's gonna be a chicken and vegetable soup. Um, as you know, if you've been watching for a little bit, um, I have fibromyalgia as well as depression. Um, so this is kind of even uh, a strain to do this really. Um, so I was trying to think, okay, how can I do it like a vegetable soup? Because I have some chicken that, um, you know, it's kind of leftovers from some roasted chicken that's already made up. Um, so anyway, I thought I would try doing a soup and trying to do it as easily as possible using salsa um, and a couple of other things that I'll go over um, when I start shooting the food. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's stick, let's, let's go, let's get started. Okay, one thing that I found that's very important is to have a, um, what do you call this thing, a little stand that you can sit on. Um, and then I also have a fan blowing directly on me um, when I'm chopping food and stuff. Cause I get, I don't know, I guess being around the stove or something, it makes me hot. And plus it's like almost 100 degrees outside. So, of course that makes sense to be very hot and then you start cooking and then, you know, what do you, what happens? Okay, let's put this again. Um, oh, yeah, and one thing um, I should mention, full disclosure, the roasted chicken, I bought it from Costco, okay? I didn't actually make it, but in my mind, I like to pretend. Pretend. Um, okay, so let's ch cut the chicken up. Okay, we're back. It's boiling rapidly and smells really good. So now what we're gonna do is put our chicken in carefully because like I said, it is boiling. Oh, and one thing I forgot to tell you all with the chicken, a story that I have to go with the chicken. Okay, when I was younger, there were four of us, four kids. Um, my dad, when we'd be chopping the chicken up, he would say, be careful, don't cut yourself. And as soon as he would say that, I would cut myself. I would cut myself and I... Yeah. Okay, so we put this, I put the salsa in there just now as a sneak. Okay. Um, it's looking good, smelling good. Hopefully it tastes good. I'll give you a shot over it. Um, let's see, can you see it? Can you see it? There we go, there's the shot. Yeah, that's it. That's my soup. Anyway, if you try this out, um, if you could comment in the, the comments below what you thought of it, how it turned out. And then what I'll probably do, either I'll come back on with a video ending it or either I'll um, just maybe type it up somewhere in the description or that the last part saying that, you know, how I liked it. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I thought this would be an interesting um, experiment with vl vlogging. And I thought I, I was looking for, when I looked up the, um, the vegetable soup making it, uh, I noticed a lot of them were like, do this, cut this, cut that. Well, um, I was trying to think of something was like the quickest, simplest way possible. Cause a lot of times recipes will say, yeah, very easy, very simple. It is very easy, very simple if you don't have any illnesses with it. But if you have an illness with it, like fibromyalgia or some other chronic pain condition, um, and that's of course Ginger interrupting my video. Um, she always must call for her, her own attention. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. If you try this um, recipe and, you know, try things out with it, let me know in the comments below how it went. And if you found anything that's helpful, that's very easy and simple, please share it because we can use all the help we can get. Um, yeah. But anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Bye.